I'm Dan Aykroyd. In addition to my work as a writer and actor, I have also pursued a lifelong interest in the paranormal and the supernatural. Years ago, I became involved with the experts, scientists, and academics attached to the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research, the OSIR. Their objective? To verify the nature of the inexplicable, to explore the psi factor, the unknown. The following story is inspired by such events and is taken from the actual case files of the OSIR. Just practicing for a Trojan Women Scene study. No. Did you memorize the script? Sorry, I did this Greek theater thing. Sure isn't the high school musical. So you want to add mine? Yes. Don't stand on ceremony. We must take. Oh. Odysseus. Odysseus. Whatever. All I know is I've got to get the prize into his hands. How a fat house boy ever ended up in drama <laughs> class is beyond me. <laughs> Has everyone received their prep package? Waiting for us when we arrived, Anton. Good. And the disc? Standing by. Good. Let's begin. Are we going to wait for Matt? It's all right. I've already briefed him. Now, this is Cheryl Hawkins, 19, undergrad at Stanton. She was found collapsed last Friday morning. Now, the medical exam revealed that she was suffering from extreme hypertension, lack of appetite, and increased stress levels. Welcome to the pressures of being a college freshman. Well, no one's going to give you an argument about that one, Lindsay, but she claims she was abducted. There was a strange symbol branded on Cheryl's neck. The victim has no idea how it got there. Well, what does the symbol signify? Well, we still don't know anything about that yet. Perhaps its origins may be in the occult. We have some videotape on Cheryl. I was, I, I was taken, I was taken against my will. And, uh, uh, something was done, done to me. I, I was, I was probed. I was probed and examined. 
Security has been increased, and campus authorities are monitoring the activities of the student population very carefully, but they admit they're baffled by her claim. Cheryl says she was abducted and probed. Are we talking aliens? Well, let's not rule that out. But I think the abductors were of the earthbound variety. Hang on. We just arrived on site. Who conducted the interview? Oh, that's Matt's daughter, Dana. She's a freshman at Stanton. So she's following in Daddy's footsteps. Ugh, poor kid. <laughs> she came out from over there. Any idea what happened to her? No. Is that concerned Dad talking or the preliminary interview? Both. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to help a friend and whoever else that might be in danger from... From who? From whoever did what they did to her. What is that? Maybe nothing, but uh, I'll let Pete check it out. Oh, Peter's here? Yeah, you're gonna be able to control yourself this time? Oh, definitely. I am so over him. Right. Freshmen can be susceptible, easily manipulated. I want to look into any activities of paranormal cults in the area. Fair enough. You want me to take the lead on this one? Well, thanks, Lizzie, but I think it's time for Ms. Stone to get her feet wet. Good luck, Mia. I'll look forward to your case manager's reports. Why don't I do backgrounds and take preliminary interviews? Yes, good. And I'll, um, I'll set up surveillance, track down Matt, and we'll start environmentals on the door. Of course, right. So I'll see you back here at four. Sure. Is 1,600 hours then? Yeah, 1,600 hours. Okay. Weird, my son. Weird Disney friend. Eyes front and center, Dad. Front and center. Check. Here you go. It's not pretty, but it's home. Jeez. I thought I got you a deluxe storm. This is the deluxe storm. Yikes. Jess, I want you to meet my dad. Matt Prager, the world-famous paranormal investigator. Mm, keep that under your hat. Oh, um, Dad, do you want to walk me to class? Yeah, sure. Nice to meet you. Oh, one question, Jessica. Um, any rumors around campus about what happened to Cheryl Hawkins? The usual suspects. Greys, discarnate entities, spectral ghouls. I'm kidding. Sorry, Mr. Prager. No idea. Okay. Thanks anyway. Dana? Hey, geez, you're looking great. Thanks, Peter. Hey, can you check this out? Yeah, I'll get right on it. I'll see you later. Excuse me, uh, Dana Prager. Yes? Oh, Moira Stratton, Psi Beta Sigma sorority president and rush chairperson. It is so great to finally meet you. Uh, hi. Um, this is my dad, Matt Prager. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, but how exactly do you know who I am? I got your name in particulars from a legacy of ours, Jessica McCabe. She had nothing but great things to say about you. Well, were you expecting to hear different? <laughs> well, you can't be too careful nowadays. So, Dana, will we see you at the house tour? 
I guess so, if, if you think I have a shot getting in. Oh, trust me, Dana. I, I think you'll make the grade. Well, it was nice meeting you. Sorority girl. Dad, look at this house. It's way better than the dorm. Oh, got class. Gotta go. See ya. Anton gave me the key? Are you worried she's not up to it? No, no, not at all. This might be a little soon to throw her to the walls, that's all. I just want things to run smoothly for her. Mm, we all do. I just got off the horn with Davison. She found traces of gamma hydroxybutric acid in Cheryl's urine sample. Oh, GHB, right. It's a date rate drug. Works a lot like somasome. Exactly. I mean, it can render a potential victim helpless and vulnerable for hours with little or no memory of what happened. Well, I mean, maybe it was a hazing incident that got out of hand. Mm. I don't think so. I mean, besides, Cheryl hasn't been accepted into a sorority yet. Or she, she's at a frat party, and GHB slipped into her drink, she's out for about 12 hours, and then she's raped. At least we know that's what didn't happen. How so? Physician's report shows no sign of intercourse. And she's still a virgin. Mm. You and Peter turned up anything? Uh, powder residue from that Cheryl's dorm and on her night clothes. And a pretty out there mixture. How's that? Well, uh... Test show it to be a blend of foxglove, wolfsbane, dust from a nearby graveyard, and catch this bat's blood. Those are common ingredients in witching rituals and, and used for concocting spells. So, boss, how do we proceed? Yeah. Seems to me someone's practicing black magic on the campus. Gotta find out who. Sometimes, and you feel like you haven't slept awake. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt that day. Like hungover, you know, like I've been partying all night. But I mean, as far as I knew, I hadn't left my bed. But you had left your bed. Yeah. It was like I was in some kind of trance. I was led from my room, and there were points of light blinding me, piercing through my mind. Shadows are moving all around me. It's a ceremony. Yeah. And they are touching me. And it's so dark. And I remember lying on a table. And they won't stop. They won't stop what they're doing to me. I feel so violated. <laughs> <laughs> How's Cheryl? Well, she's starting to remember details of the night she was abducted. Really? His daughter? Yeah. What does um single mean? We're not sure. We're still looking into it. You must have some idea or you wouldn't be here, right? No, we, we don't know that. Oh, my God, it's true. I've been marked. Oh, I've been marked. I've been scarred for life, but there's another thing that you or anybody else can do about it, is there? Cheryl? There's... Cheryl? Wolf. Do you want to go back hey. to the dorm? 
like to your neck. Look, Dana, I've um, I've got a uh, I got a bit of a confession to make. Yeah. Um, I haven't uh, haven't actually um, you know. Um, oh, hey, don't sweat it. I have a confession to make too. I I love hearing confessions. Means that we're sharing, starting to trust one another. Joey Adams, Alpha Lambda. Am I right? Hi, Maria. Dana. <laughs> My, aren't you the gentleman? You're welcome. I mean, thanks. Dana. Please tell me that you're coming to our rush tour this afternoon. Still planning on it. Like I said, you'll fit in well with the sisterhood of Psi Beta Sigma. We like your type. My type? What exactly is my type? I think you know. Right, Joey? Um... Yeah, sure, I guess. Dana, you might think about changing your outfit before this afternoon, okay? Uh, just trying to help you make a great impression. Later. Later. What? No, come here. No, it's so... How's the research coming? It's a lot of information about black magic and witches, that stuff. Well, don't forget, there are two sides to that coin. A white witches wouldn't harm anyone. Yeah, no. Nothing says loving like a witch in the coven. Uh, that symbol set off any alarms on the computer yet? Not yet. I've seen it somewhere before. Yeah, they got here somewhere. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That symbol's on one of the books I want Dana. Look, why don't we just wait for her to get back instead of rooting through her stuff? It's Dana. What are we gonna find? Didn't I tell you? He told me. <laughs> I can't wait to get out of that shoebox. We have to call a room. Uh, Rashis, welcome to Psi Beta Sigma. Our motto says it all. Chaste and virtuous, good and decent. One that is pure as driven snow. It's what we all aspire to, to achieve perfection. All right, girls, let the bidding begin. Go easy on her, Matt. 
witchcraft. What, what's next? A goat's head? It's no big deal. I'm just practicing white magic. Uh, and I suppose practice makes perfect, right? Next thing you'll be telling me you're riding the convocation on a broom. We were planning on casting a spell to help Cheryl, to make her feel better. Obviously, that didn't work. <sighs> Obviously, I should have put you in a convent. Dad, please. Do you honestly think I would have called you and the team here if me and my friends were behind all of this? Why did you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. I just don't tell you everything anymore. Take it easy, man. Well, it's not like she's doing drugs or anything. Oh, come on. It seems like she's being the mature one here, Matt. Come on, did she freak when you went through her stuff without her permission? Gee, that sounds familiar. We did eliminate a group of suspects. Eliminated what group of suspects? Oh, we found some white wicker paraphernalia in Dana's room. Yeah, between doing her hair in ponytails and swooning over the backstreet boys, it seems my daughter's been dabbling in witchcraft. But apparently it's okay, see, because it's the good kind. We did talk to her, and we talked to her friends. Everything is cool. You spoke with her before you came and told me? It's not that simple. Look, I realize I'm new to the team, but I'm also the case manager on this one, so please, respect that. Mia. Yeah. Nobody was trying to conceal anything from you, but sometimes procedure and protocol get lost in the shuffle. Is this because Dana's involved? What? Objectivity, Matt, or the lack of it. I mean, are you sure you can distance yourself from this one? Your story checks out. I already ran it down yesterday. So? Turn up any leads on the meaning of that symbol? You can do all right. The devil's mark. Often used to identify members of a witch's coven. But Cheryl Hawkins isn't a witch. I mean, some group is doing this to her. nigh the tenants of the sisterhood the forces of darkness are growing stronger Astaroth Astaroth demon of the night rise up and reveal yourself to us now For Miss Cheryl Hawkins. Can I help you? Oh, Mr. Prager. I'm Maura. Maura Stratton, yeah. I, I know all about you. You here to see Cheryl? Mm hmm. Addies. She listed our sorority on her rush sheet, but uh, she didn't show at the tour yesterday. We were all concerned. Is she gonna be all right? Yeah. Eventually. It's terrible. The rumors that we've been hearing around campus, not to tell you your business, but there's been some talk of witchcraft. Well, that's, uh, that's still to be determined. Hi, Maura. Hi, Dad. Hope you still like it black. Cream, two sugars, but thanks anyway. So, I hear uh, Cheryl's out of danger. Uh, yeah, she's gonna be okay. That's a relief. It is, isn't it? So, Dana, are we gonna secure your bed? I think so. Psi Beta Sigma sounds like a great chapter. Oh, 
And everyone there, they're all good people, just like you. What about Cheryl? Dad. It's okay, Dana. Cheryl might work out. She may meet the requirements. Requirements? The rules for sorority entry are very strict. Cheryl may or may not measure up. But your Dana has passed the first phase with flying colors. So what else do I have to do? Come to the rush party this afternoon. If all goes well, you'll be home free. And then what? I heard Mara say something to Susie. They are definitely very interested in you. Case manager's log. I've directed investigators Axon and Donner to expand the perimeter of the event site and search for any evidence of black magic practice in the area. Stone out. So, witchcraft. How'd all that stuff get started? My grandmother. She taught me the wicked ways when I was just a little kid. Yeah, but come on. Bat's blood? I mean, doesn't that stuff give you the creeps? No. <laughs> the rules are much more straightforward than that. Do what you will, but harm no one. Unless it's absolutely necessary, then so be it. Yeah, so when is it absolutely necessary? Well, that I haven't had to find out so mm. far. The grounds was pretty great, I and mean, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't know the difference between vervain, herb, and foxglove root. What is this? This is wolfsbane. Sumac? Wait a minute. This is Hellebore. None of these are indigenous to this area. This place is giving me the creeps. <sighs> me too. Brings back the memories, huh? Of what? Weren't you a sorority girl? <laughs> <laughs> no. It wasn't my scene. The whole Greek thing. <laughs> you? As, as Groucho would say, I'd never belong to a club that'd have me as a member. Look at them. Well, what's on your mind? What was your first time like? Uh, she, she, she was, she's older, you know. No, as a case manager. Oh. <laughs> um, very chairman of the board. I did it my way. So how am I doing? What do you think? 
that my way might just work out in the end. You know, but I am wondering why we're keeping an eye on this sorority party. My spidey sense told me. It has nothing to do with Dana. Oh, no. Yeah. We found an old satanic ceremony site in the woods behind the dorm. And according to the moon phases, Jupiter has just crossed into the path of Neptune. Something bad is going down. That's the missing persons report I've been waiting for. In the last four years, one freshman has gone missing each year. Satanists have been killing freshmen? Cheryl Hawkins was supposed to be their next victim. We have to move Cheryl off campus. We already did that. Matt and I took care of it earlier today. Cheryl taking off sight, and then I'd like to do the same with you. Joey, I'm so glad that you could make it. Yeah. I just want you to come back to the lab where it's safe. No way. At least let me assign you some protection. Like a bodyguard? Dad, I can take care of myself. With what? You, your magic? <sighs> what other secrets are you keeping from me? Who's the young stud? That's Joey Adams, and I met him in drama class. Ah, uh, drama class. Great. Yeah, drama class. Can I go back to the party now? Joey? No. Wait, you know, I think you went inside. The plants and herbs that we found in the woods, they're instrumental to rituals that summon evil to the Earth's surface. Well, what kind of evil are we talking about? Well, depending on the methodology, a god, a devil, or given the combination of ingredients in the powder, a demon, Astaroth. One of the 72 spirits of Solomon, female demon, powerful and deadly. We've got to figure out what's going on here and fast. Why? The previous disappearances, they all occurred the final night during rush week. And there's a full moon on the rise. So whatever's going down, it's going down tonight.
Well done, Pledge. on the dance committee. Proceed with the examination. No! Demonology, I mean, it means quite literally the worshiping of demons and the calling on elemental forces to aid in achieving one's will or desire. Now, Astaroth is a high priestess of female demons. She represents sloth and vanity. Now, any cult or sect who called that demon to Earth would be after everlasting perfection. So I beta sigma creed. Purity, it's what we all aspire to. Of course. What? The symbol. In Wicca, it represents the devil's mark, but in demonolatry, it's the opposite. It means most pure and chaste. So they're not marking freshmen, they're marking virgins. Look at this. What? Here's where Dana went back in. She never came up. It's almost midnight, so with haste, let's proceed. The Virgin stands before you, mistress. Feed your hunger. Replenish your strength. state the obvious, but if they don't sacrifice a virgin tonight to Astaroth before the moon is high, then they lose everything. A pentagram. Come on. Seconds, Mia. Praise ut sacrificum quod oculis tua majestatus optili. Praise ut sacrificum quod oculis tua majestatus optili. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Deus sacrificum quod oculis. No. Tua majestatis optili. Case manager's final log. Mia Stone reporting. Further investigation revealed this to be the only chapter of Psi Beta Sigma to be practicing black magic. Their quest for perfection came at a very steep price. Stone out. According to Christian tradition, demons are evil entities who devote themselves to leading humans into darkness. It is believed that demons can be cast out through the use of rituals, prayers, and white Wicca magic. Ironically, those practicing Wicca or positive witchcraft are often accused of devil worship. But it's not simple to distinguish good from evil, black magic from white. For Psy Factor, I'm Dan Aykroyd.